Welcome to part two of the basic website template tutorial. Now we have our basic structure here and our navigational bar. Now what I did is I actually organized all of my layers into groups and you can do that with the group button right here. So go ahead and just make a new group and just put all of your background files into a group and your navigational bar files into a group okay and name them background and of course navigational bar okay so we're going to delete this group we just made okay oh are we hold on a second here okay just delete that uh, having a little mishap here. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm actually rendering another video right now. That's why I'm moving kind of slow. Um, sorry about that. Okay, anyway, and what I also did is I just wrote in my, uh, my uh, navigational uh, pages right here. So you want to do that by selecting the text tool and just clicking on, uh, on, the, on your navigational bar. And you want to use like a basic font. Um, I used... Arial, you should actually have that. So it's the it's the most basic font. And what I also did as well is um, reduced the spacing between each letter, like between the letters. You could do that by just clicking this little this little button right here, and this will pop up. And you want to make sure to select all of your text, and then just drop down right here and you could select with spacing. I'm actually at minus 75 so you can kind of play around with it a little bit and just choose what you want to do but and what I also did is what you should do as well when you after you're done putting in uh, your your menu your menus you want to add a drop shadow on the text and set the, uh, the opacity to 35 the distance to one spread to zero and the size to zero and that's actually going to give it a little bit more depth as you can see we'll uh, turn it on and off pretty simple but it gives it, it gives it a pretty good effect I think okay so now we're on to the logo or actually let's do a simple button overlay on our navigational bar so let's go ahead and make a new layer here and now you're gonna select about um, the size of your button with the rectangular marquee tool so just select that and um, I'm gonna go a little bit above the navigational bar so do you do that as well I'll show you it it's actually a pretty cool effect um, so let's go ahead and do the overlay with um, what do you guys think let's do um, still purple no I don't know let's see maybe like a pinkish reddish okay see I think that looks pretty good so go ahead and drag that and just fill uh, our selection with the color you chose and drag that under your uh, text file. Now double click that and the layer you just filled and we're going to add a gradient overlay as well. Now go ahead and set that on overlay and depending on the color you have you want to play around with it a little bit in this occasion we're gonna reduce the opacity a little bit okay let's see we got a cool little effect going here okay so let's make a new group for our overlay 
input overlay or button overlay. Okay. Now drag the file, the actual button overlay in there. And now you want to make a new layer. We're kind of give we're gonna give the button a little bit more depth. So go ahead and select the brush tool and reset your brushes if you're not at the basic brushes. Now you want to go ahead and select the light brush like this and make the size a little bit smaller than your button. So we're gonna do yeah, that's pretty good. So go ahead and reset your colors to white and make sure you've made a new layer and make a simple brush underneath uh, your button, your uh, text I mean. Now you want to go ahead and reduce the opacity of that by a, a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at 25% okay and now to give your button a little bit more depth you want to make a new layer and select the pencil tool again or the pencil tool instead of the brush tool I mean now go ahead and make the size of the pencil two pixels okay make sure you're on white and you have a new layer and draw a line across the top of your button just like I'm doing here now you want to make sure it's the same size as the button see we kinda so you could grab the rectangular marquee tool and just delete any leftovers so go ahead and move the button maybe two pixels down and set it to overlay okay or actually we're we're just gonna keep it at the at the same spot we are actually just one pixel down so there's a little bit of pink sticking out and depending on what color you have okay see I don't really like the overlay I'm just gonna leave it at normal and reduce the opacity Right, and actually let's just make the button the overlay uh, just a normal the same size as the navigational bar okay oh, make sure you have the layer selected if you're going to do that okay so there you go okay not bad right so go ahead and move your uh, see that looks a lot better I think now let, why don't we try a uh, inner shadow on our overlay button and set the distance or uh, yeah the distance at zero <clears throat> at zero and maybe reduce the opacity to about fifty percent okay see that's not so bad okay and now you're gonna have to move on to part three of this series